Welcome back everyone. It is so good to see you. Today I'm going to show you how to make a breakfast pizza using a hash brown crust. Doesn't that sound delicious? This is perfect for Mother's Day, right around the corner, for holidays, brunch, a breakfast. How about just make it at nighttime for dinner? You know we all love breakfast for dinner. We're going to start off with a pizza pan. We're going to make it round so we can cut those you know, traditional pizza slices. Come on down, let's put this one together. Right, we've got a 16 inch in diameter pizza pan. We're gonna lightly spray it with some cooking spray, very lightly, you don't wanna drench your pan. Just like that. You're gonna need one package of shredded hash browns. Now this is found in the refrigerated section of your store, 20 ounces. If you're using the frozen hash browns from your freezer section of your store, make sure you thaw those out. That way you can make the crust on our pan. So I'm gonna place the whole thing on the pan here. There we go. And what we're gonna do is flatten this out to make the crust. Now this will feed about four people. Now if you have really hungry people or more than that, then you can make two sheet pans of the breakfast pizza. All right, we're gonna form this into our crust. Nice thin layer. We want this to cut like a pizza. Make sure you pat it down, because you don't want it too thick. We want it to get nice and crispy. All right, that looks good. All right, we're gonna flavor our crust up. Got some salt, just sprinkle it right across the top. Some black pepper. Mm-hmm, whatever you like to season your hash browns with. And then, get it nice and crispy. I've got some melted butter. About two tablespoons we're going to spread across our hash browns. Just brush it right on the top. We don't want to make it too thick. Don't saturate it, just enough. It's flavor, and it's going to help crisp up our hash browns here. Have your oven preheated to 425 degrees. We're going to place this in there for about 20, 25 minutes until it gets nice and crispy along the edges. Now, while it's baking in the oven, we're gonna go ahead and get everything else ready. We are gonna cook our eggs before we put it on the crust. So in a medium bowl, we're gonna crack in four eggs for this pizza. <laughs> and four. Make sure you season your eggs. I'm gonna go in with eighth of a teaspoon of salt. About a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And then we're gonna go in with a little bit of onion powder. You want a nice flavored pizza right across the top, whatever you like. Eighth of a teaspoon would be good. And then a little bit of garlic. Oh yeah, that smells good. Just take a whisk, and blend this all together. All right, let's get our pot ready. I'm gonna place my skillet on a medium high heat. Put in some of that melted butter that I already have out. We're gonna start heating that up. Okay, I gotta show you all this. These are the spoons that I was just using earlier and it clicks to each place that you need. Eighth of a teaspoon all the way up to a teaspoon. It comes in a double pack. It also has one teaspoon up to a tablespoon, so it's a double set. 
Oh my goodness, instead of rummaging around my drawer, these are great. I will link them down below if you want to check those out. I'm not sponsored, I just like the tools. All right, let's go ahead and add our eggs. All right, we're just gonna stir these around until we get scrambled eggs. Now you don't want them too hard are too dry because they've got to go in the oven. So I'm just going to stir them around. Now I find that four eggs is plenty for this pizza. Again, if you're doubling the recipe, then you can put eight eggs in there. I'm going to go ahead now and turn off my burner so I don't overcook my eggs. Move them around a little bit. All right. I'm going to take this off the burner and bring another pan over. We're gonna put it on medium high heat. I'm gonna add in 16 ounces of Jimmy Dean breakfast sauce. I call this breakfast sausage because that's when we usually eat it. So we'll go ahead and put that in. We're gonna start browning that up. I'm going to use my spurtle here. It's just a small enough tool to do that. For this pizza, you want to make sure that all the components are cooked. If you want to put bacon on it, then you can crisp it up in the oven first, and then you can crumble it on the pizza. Ham. Ham is already cooked, so you can just dice it up and you can put that on there. Peppers and onions. I would just saute those down with a little bit of oil or butter, season them up a little bit, put that on there. Mushrooms, the same thing. Whatever you like, almost like in an omelet, right? Now you can get the regular, which is not very hot, or you can get the hot, which is gonna be more spicy on the sausage. Let me know down below what you're putting on your breakfast pizza. All right, it's all nice and browned up. Okay, we've got the hash brown crust out of the oven. Let's go ahead and finish this up. I'm going to place four ounces of shredded cheese across the top. Now I'm using a sharp cheddar, but you can use whatever you want. This will hold everything onto our pizza. Alright, we're going to add our eggs on top of the pizza. It smells so good. I should have put red onions in my eggs. That would have been really good. So many things you can do with this pizza. So many, y'all know that. The eggs smell delicious with that garlic powder and onion powder in there. Mm. Flavor it up. Let's see, where else should I put this? Right here. We're gonna add our sausage. Make sure you drain your sausage. Oh, does that look good? Now we're gonna add more cheese just on top about two to three ounces depending on what you want on your pizza slightly over the top that way you can see all the ingredients all right i'm going to throw some green onions on for color i've already diced up we like green onions on everything <laughs> who doesn't we'll put some right in the top there we go just for color, it's whatever you want to do for your pizza. What do y'all think? Our oven is already heated at the 425 degrees. I'm gonna place this hash brown crusted breakfast pizza in there to bake for another 10 to 15 minutes till that cheese is nice and melted. I'm gonna be back. For more breakfast and brunch ideas for Mother's Day or holidays or your weekends, whatever you need an idea for, go check out my recipe blog, katherinesplates.com. Also, I have three cookbooks that have delicious recipes in them also for any occasion, just for dinner. All right, I'll be back with the finished pizza. I'm going to slice into it. Give it a try for you. All right. There is the pizza. The cheese is nice and melted. It's nice and crispy along the edges. I've got my pizza cutter. Could go in like a pizza. Make sure you cut all the way through that crust. I'm 
makes eight pieces like that. There's your pizza slice. I'm going to put it on a plate and give it a try for you. Now, I don't think you can pick that up and eat it like a pizza. So I'm going to take my fork. And give it a try. Mmm. Happy breakfast. Mmm, that is delicious. You can make this any way you want. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below how you're going to jazz up your breakfast pizza with a hash brown crust. All right, thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification that way you'll always get notified when shows like this one here are posted. All right, I'll see y'all on the next episode.